Hey guys, I'm doing a video that I've never ever done before because it's always usually my Bibles and sometimes I'll show my wife's Bibles just to, you know, so people can see comparisons and things like that. Um, there will be a few Bibles that aren't in here that my wife has that are in drawers that um, I've showed in past videos like her old Thompson chain. So don't really need to show those again. But what I'm doing is grabbing the Bibles that my kids have and what my wife uses and just, you know, kind of giving you guys a showing of what is the other Bibles that are in my house, kind of. I, well, mainly, there's just a few study Bibles that I just, they're just off on the side. So, I don't know if that, you know, whatever. Anyway, so I thought it would be kind of neat to share you guys some of these. So, and I'm not going to open them up and show, like, you know, private stuff. I'm just going to show the Bibles. So... First, I'll start off by these. These are, um, this one's my son's, and this will show you the difference between my, my kids. Okay, this is my oldest son's Bible. This is his Bible. That's it. He don't need a bazillion Bibles. He don't, he's like, Dad, that one's cool. I like it. He's had other ones, but he chose this one a while back ago. And um, so I just, you know, gave another one away and some other stuff. But um, he chose this one. This is his Bible. It's that Holman. I have another one that's different. It has like pebbly green, but they're the same Bible. They were a really good price, so I got them, and he really liked this one the most. So he took this one and got rid of another one. So that's his one Bible. This was, it's an NIV. So the reason I'm showing this because this is a family-like thing. This is like if anybody wants to take a Bible with them. It's mainly mine for her doctor's visits when my daughter puts it in her handbag because she goes along with me a lot when we go places. This is an NIV, guys, and it is such a neat little Bible. It was given, gifted to me by a friend, and um, it's a Zondervan. They make really good prints. Very, very, very nice Bibles. This is a... I want to share this. It's printed in Belgium. It's really, really... Great little Bible, 1984, 2002, I think is the latest date on this. And it's got like, well, this date should tell, yeah, 2002 is how old this is. The paper, ooh, it's very nice for such a little Bible, it's so neat. It's just got this really like, hard to explain, it's got that textury kind of paper, and look at the red print. I won't show you the inside of all these other ones, I don't think, but just showing you guys this little neat premium bonded leather. It's a neat little bonded leather Bible. Tiny little thing. And then this is a recent, recent present that came to me. This is an NIV from 89. And man, guys, the paper in this thing is the, it is thin. I mean, it is thin paper. It's so thin. It's like, oops, focus. Focus! I don't know if the speaker can pick up that, but this stuff is the thinnest paper. I mean, literally, you can crumble it, and it just goes back. I like thin paper, and it's not really even that ghosty. I mean, it's so thin, guys. I mean, it is like... And you would think it'd be like, because it's thin, that it would rip really easy, but it's not. It's strong. It's super thin. It almost... My wife and me were talking last night about this Bible, and it's just like, it's like almost, like it's on cloth. Like, they printed the Bible on cloth, because it's such a great paper. You see how I'm crumbling that up? You can't do that with papers nowadays in these Bibles. If you crease them at all, boom, it's done. You're going to have a crease. This is why I like thinner, strong, good India paper. It's it's very strong. It's not going to rip on you if, you if you're good with the Bible. I mean, you tug it on it. You can crumble it up. I mean, if I did that with some of my premiums, guys, that's it. It's done. You're going to always turn to that page, and you're going to find this crumbled up page. And look at that. I literally just crumbled that page up. And that would be Bible abuse. It's not there, guys. There's no creases, nothing. It's gone. I love this paper. I, I, I think that this, this fascination with thicker papers is great and all. If you're somebody who wants it, like a journal Bible or journaling or writing, and yeah, ooh premium but that thinner paper guys oh i love it anyways geeking out on that i thought that'd be interesting to show to you guys because that is just crazy and the person that gave that to me thank you so much i love that bible i had one and i gave it away I, a while ago and i was like man that was years ago and i was like why did i give that away but somebody got blessed with it but it was such a great little bible anyways 
this is a claw. This is my daughter's. Okay, so now we're moving on. Daughter's Bibles. This was her little Bible when she was younger, about eight years old. And she's older now. She's she's an adult now, little adult. But this was hers when she was little. And it's just like my son's Bible that I shared with you guys. And I gifted that to my, my little nephew. It's an NLT girls study Bible. And they're not making, they changed them, guys. And they changed them. They had such neat little art pictures for these kiddos. And now I feel like there's kind of a area missing because what they did is they changed them and they made them more, these were geared towards uh, like 12 and up, like teens, preteen kind of, but they changed them a lot. And, and now it doesn't fit the age group that I think this one kind of fit. I mean, just really neat artwork. And then they went and changed it up and now it's just not the same Bible. So I, I did a review on that and, um, it's kind of a bummer because people can't find that Bible. If you go and buy it, it's going to be completely different. Same kind of notes, but different art style. This little note I found, I thought it was really cute. It's from when she was eight and she was worried about stuff. And mom told her to go do a study on on worrying and stuff like that. It's so cute. And she said I could share that. I wasn't not sharing something that she's not okay with. But it was something from when she was younger. It was just really neat. We both opened it up and just kind of had a little laugh about it because it... It's adorable to see how God has worked with my daughter over the years. And now this is her main Bible right now. She's using an NLT journal Bible that she's using. She's mainly in that one. I'm not saying that it's her main Bible like she reads it. She kind of bounces back and forth a little bit. This is a Bible that was gifted to me, and then she just took it over, man. She liked it. It's a New King James, and a lot of her growing with her, you know, becoming more of herself, you know, as a young adult. A young girl has been with the New King James, and then she had the New King James Study Bible, Life Application, which was something that she really, really liked, the Life Application, but wanted a, 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 new, um, a new translation of it because we had the King James edition, and she, she liked, couldn't really grab the King James as much, and when she got the new King James, it was like, it just exploded. It was like, yes, that's the same kind of thing, but yeah, I can understand it better. And I totally agreed with her, and she used that for a long time. She really liked this one. She used it a lot. It's got a lot of underlines. And then she took my new King James goat skin from Ben's Bibles. That's her Bible. She loves the style of it and stuff, but she doesn't use this one as much. But every once in a while, she'll read it, but it's not like her main. And then her little precious moment Bible. So that's just, you know, those keepsake Bibles that you get when you're younger. But anyways, that is a great Bible if you can find it, guys. Um, you, you like, uh, Sunday school teachers or, you know, youth, the little, the young youth. If you guys can find these used, gobble them up. If you're, if you're okay with the NLT for the younger guys, younger kiddos, this is such a great little Bible for them. And it's the older edition of the Life Application Study Bible. It's called The Girl's Life Application by Tyndale. I'll do a review of this one, I think, for you guys. Anyways, let's set these ones aside. And then we'll move on. Move on down. Let's see. Oh. Don't want to damage people's Bibles. Okay. This will show you my son, the younger son's collection. He, uh, he, he's like me. He likes older, really cool Bibles, but he's more into, he likes the older style. And this one really grabbed him. This is the local church. Um, really old one that was gifted to me. It was one of their, like, far back editions. This is what local church, which is CBP now. Local church still is, exists, but the people that did these were CBP. So this is one of their originals, guys. Look at this grain. It's like a genuine leather grain, cowhide. And that, oh, it's just awesome. Love this Bible. It is so cool. It's got a semi app. Look at that, a semi app. They used to have these guys. I, I would love to see Church do this again, get some thinner leathers. It doesn't always have to be uh, thick and plush to make it a good Bible. This is a thin cover, as you can see. And then they did like a, uh, like a long primer style. It looks like my Sovereign. That's how they do the Sovereign long primer with a thin wrap around like that really neat bible i mean it's got some grain patterns guys as you can see look at that grain pattern is that just killer or what that is so awesome 
it literally is like an R.L. Allen on the outside. You know, yes, it's not the quality goat skin, but I tell you what, the way they did this with the tooling and everything, yowzers, man, that thing's awesome looking. Really, really cool Bible. It says genuine leather liner, so it's not like super flexible, but it's there and it, it does the trick, man. It's great. Thin liner. Man, church, if you guys see this video, anybody from Church Bible Publishers, you should really look back at this old design. You guys did a really neat thing here. And this might be something you could uh, go back to doing just for a special limited edition or maybe maybe do it. I mean, I, I don't see how this could be that, that expensive for you guys, um, for them and whoever's watching, to get this kind of leather again. Because I think it's great. Now, the book block is older, so this will show you the, the change that LCBP and, and Church Bible Publishers has become. Church Bible Publishers. This is them, and they have become just so much better this print it might look good on camera like and i'm not saying it's horrible guys i'm just saying to what they make now to my eye and, and what i know they have now um the camera won't won't share that with you guys because the camera lies to you the camera lies it doesn't show you the quality difference it's it really fluctuates throughout the text like here whew, that's really bad this goes like really dark to like almost you can't even tell it's so light and this camera won't show it it's very very light yeah it gets super light here too it does just crazy fluctuations so they they have gotten a lot better like wow that's really black compared to that text so that's what i'm trying to share with you um the paper's gotten a lot better but overall i think this kind of binding would be a great one for them to do again but this is my son my son's Bible, so there I am rambling. He really loved these. Um, these are some older King James Bibles that come in booklets that were done by, um, what's the company? Uh, I can't remember now. I don't know if it shows it on the side here. Anyways, they're just older. I can't remember that brand or the publisher at the time. Um, they had really, really cool little booklets, and he just... He really dug these, man. He was like, whoa, those are cool. They're really neat. It's a cool Bible. He took this one. He liked it. I gave one of these away to another channel, a sister, a sub of mine, and she loved this Bible. A lot of people liked it. And he really digs that one. He really likes the 1611, the old um, English text style that just grabs him. It's his thing, you know what I mean? And then when I got this one from um, Zach, he, Brother Zach, he loves this Bible. Look at this, man. I cannot believe the text in this Bible. This Bible is an amazing text, guys. It's a Holman, little King James. It's one of the, the bonded leather ones. But the print, the print is amazing. Such a good print. And it's stitched. And, and he... And, Zach added his own red for me when he sent this. He's like, he did this himself. Such a cool gift. And my son just dug it, man. And he was like, I, I want that Bible. He liked it. So I was like, dude, take it. So it's his now. So And then he has the MEV translation. I like that gray, gray cover and stuff. So he took that one over. So that's where that one is. Nose and stuff that you guys might see on my channel. And then we'll jump into my wife's. This is my wife's Bible. You've seen this one a lot, guys. This is her Thompson chain with just amazing grain patterns. I love this. This Bible, okay, I have church Bibles. I get them a lot. And I've had, I have my um, three-piece one, which I love. And me and her almost swapped. We actually did for a day. And then she found that she liked this one still more. Um, and so we swapped back. She took it back. And it's got like a, the way the cover fits on this one. It fits loose and it just it fits in the in your hand. The spine is such a comfortable Bible. It's beautiful, lays flat. Oh, love that Bible. It just has its unique quality. And then um, she took a liking to this Allen, so I asked her if she wanted it, and she she kicked and screamed, and I had to like force her to take it because she's not somebody who likes you know taking. It's hard to, to gift to her, but when it comes to Bibles, too, she's like, I don't need it, I don't need it, but she loves this Bible. She loves it. It brings a smile to her face. Um, 
some of my other Bibles do bring a smile to her face, but she's never felt really, you know, like wanting one, and she took a liking to this. Um, Shy Bible Girl just did a review of a red one, guys, that she got. This is the Thin Line Long Primer, and man, these were by Charfleet, and they're beautiful, very dark, um, art gilding, and they... The art gilding was so dark that it bled over to the pages, which I love. That don't bother me at all, guys. And that's why they discounted it, because it had some, like, little scratches for some people on the gilding. And so they started discounting them. But this thing is just beautiful. And the purple ribbons I put in, they look blue on the camera. But if I can get the camera to kind of, there, there, it kind of shows kind of the color. It's more purple. But I put that in to give it that old 1950s look. I think the purple ribbons gives it that 1950s look to it. If you've ever had a Bible from that time period, they did a really good job of capturing that with that, the way the cover is. It's just these liners. I would, I would love to see Alan keep this liner. I don't know what it is, but it's great. It's got this like, like a, uh, oh, what do you call it? Suede. It's kind of got like a suede feeling to it. It's so nice. I love it. I hope Alan will keep doing that. This is her her um, New King James Rebind by Ben's Bibles. So if you want to see the video on that one, beautiful New King James Thompson chain. Just oh, gorgeous. Nice ribs. And then we have her open Bible that I had to buy because I gave away her open Bible. And oh boy, I felt like a big dummy. She really liked it. And when it went bye-bye, she was very upset. But anyways, I found a stitched one, and it's a King James, and she likes it better. It was a new King James that I had gotten from a friend, and she took it over, and yeah, that was her Bible. And then we have this one. The name on here means nothing. It was a gift, and it was uh, probably used from somebody that gifted it. It's an old new King James. Very nice 80s edition new King James reference Bible. Excellent Bible. If you guys can find these early 80s, mid-80s to late, I think 89, very good Bibles. New King James. Love that Bible. She took this one over. It was a King James gifted to me by a friend that um, gifted the, the NIV. She took that one over so it stays above her bed. It's just really easy to use in bed. And then her journal Bible that was gifted to us. So she took over this journal Bible. This is a cool Bible, man. It's by um, Thomas Nelson. And then she likes this one. This is a Hebrewite, like Hebrew, like scripture thing. Hebrew roots, um, one man's Bible. She doesn't, it's just not like it's a Bible that she uses all the time. It's a Bible that she studies in and thinks it's really neat. So she just kind of took it over and started digging into it. And it's a really neat kind of perspective, but it's only done by one guy that did it. And I'm weary of Bibles that get done by one person. I'm always kind of weary about that when there's not been a lot of other involvement with the text. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's from the Hebrew, um, Aramaic, uh, Greek. It kind of goes in and in, in, has been done to a more accurate meaning. He, this person went and studied for like 12 years in Jerusalem with some of the people that know the original languages, like the best people in the world, and he went and made his own Bible, study Bible type thing. So anyways, I thought about reviewing it, but I don't know a whole lot about it, but well, might do that. So, anyways, guys, I hope that was a neat showing of what other Bibles are in my home and what my family has. So, long video. Sorry, guys. I know they're long, but I'm just that kind of way, and I'm just kind of a long video to do. So, love you guys. See you next time. Bye bye.